I have a desire, we gotta fix this. We're working to change that system. That is Denver Mayor Michael Hancock responding to critical concerns about Denver Health's paramedics division uncovered by Denver 7 Investigates. During the past year, firefighters and paramedics have come forward exposing what they describe as dangerous delays in response times and pressure to bypass qualified hospitals when they have critically injured patients. Tonight, the hospital CEO responding to the mayor's call for action. Here is Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski. CEO Robin Wittenstein has declined requests to answer our questions. Have again declined to answer questions. Denver Health CEO Robin Wittenstein. Our multiple requests were declined. Once again, Denver Health has declined a request for an interview in the wake of now a year of reports raising critical questions. It's been nearly a year since we made our first request to sit down with you and address issues in our reporting. Why are you talking now? Prior to this moment, Denver Health CEO had avoided answering our questions about her paramedics division. And I think it's opportunity for me to have a conversation with you and just tell you how proud we are of the work that we've done and, and the work that we'll continue to do. It was a message she repeated multiple times during a 30 minute interview. Have you watched our reporting over the past year plus? I've seen some of it. The culture? needs to change. During the past 13 months, current and former paramedics, along with current and former firefighters, have all critically challenged the culture and performance of Denver Health's paramedics division. The people of Denver are not getting the service that they think they are getting. Testimonials, inside emails, and data exposed a paramedics division where ambulances were bypassing qualified hospitals with critically injured patients, driving more miles and taking more time to get to Denver Health. And we also uncovered response times for critical calls, sometimes exceeding 20, 30, or 40 minutes. The emails are saying what we all know, is that there has been a long time problem with how long it takes an ambulance to arrive on scene. To be clear, our reports have never faulted the individual paramedics, but rather the systems and oversight that created the outcomes. They're not in it for what's right for the patient. Code 10 for a 66 year old female. The ego and the money, it's like, this is our county, you can't tell us what to do. Over the past year plus, our reporting has been critical of your paramedic division. Have we reported anything inaccurately? I believe that the reporting has not accurately reflected the performance of the Denver Health Paramedic Division. The people of Denver are not getting the service that they need. Denver's mayor watched the very same reports and arrived at a completely different conclusion. You know, we have got to improve the entire system. This is not okay. Nobody uh, deserves to be in pain or to see a loved one die when, when we know we could have saved them. In front of these cameras, will you commit to the changes the mayor is calling for? I will commit to continued conversations with the city of Denver around what they, you know, how the partnership works. Specifically, have you changed anything because of the testimonials, the information in our reporting? There haven't been specific changes that have been necessary. But after a year of reporting, you just said to me, nothing has changed. All those people came forward and said you had a culture problem, yet you've changed nothing. We continue to talk to our employees to see what else do we need to do. Our leadership is interacting with them regularly. Denver Health CEO did confirm that after the hospital's paramedics division failed to meet response time standards last year, Denver Health is now working to hire more paramedics and get more ambulances on the street. In conclusion, should the people of Denver expect better service from your paramedic division? The people of Denver get great service from our paramedic division right now, and they should expect that to continue into the future. With all due respect, you've dodged a lot of questions. I've given you the answers that I think are appropriate and accurate. Um, again, the, the work that the paramedic division does is really amazing, and I'm incredibly proud of it. Mayor Michael Hancock's team is currently at the negotiating table with Denver Health. The mayor has promised changes designed to improve emergency response by Denver Health, which means improvements for Denver citizens. CEO Robin Wittenstein announced her retirement earlier this year. Her final day at Denver Health is September 1st, which means...
The hospital's new CEO, Donna Lynn, will likely have final say on the new contract and any future changes. We will keep you up to date on all the developments. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.